Hey guys, it's Regant here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can install plugins onto your Minecraft server and also how you can switch from a vanilla server where you can't install any plugins to a mod pack like Spigot or Paper without losing your current world. So have fun! So let's start at the beginning and start renting a server and which settings you need to install plugins onto your server. First choose Minecraft on the gportal site and go on order now. I'm gonna create my own server here right now. And this is important if you want to install plugins, I would recommend using Spigot, since here we can install easily plugins. I'm gonna choose three days because I will just show you how to do it and I'm gonna choose my available location. Now we can continue and the server, oh no, first we have to pay obviously, pay with our balance, here we go. And now the server is setting himself up, so there we go. Also, this video is sponsored by gportal, so if you use the first link in the video description, you will get a 10% discount onto your server. So let's continue here. The most important thing is in basic settings. Here we have the option mods. We have Spigot right now and we want to install our plugins also on the Spigot, so we don't have to change anything right now. If you are in the same position, like you're already playing on a Spigot server and you want to continue playing on a Spigot server, then you can skip to the next timestamp where I'm gonna explain to you how to install plugins. Very, very important now. If you have, for example, vanilla in here, let me see, Minecraft vanilla, for example, and you have played on it, you have an existing world on this mod, then you can't just switch to Spigot, since then you will lose your world. If you, for example, have bought just if you just bought a server and you by mistake chose vanilla here you can just switch to spigot since then you don't have a world that you can lose but if you have an existing world then it's very very important that you don't just switch to spigot or paper or whatever whatever mod you want to play then you have to follow the next step of my video very very important otherwise you will lose your world so just follow me with the next step so we are on our vanilla server right now, you can see this in the top left corner here and we've built some stuff here and we want to get this vanilla server now onto a, a Spigot server so we can install plugins on the server. So first of all we have to go to the gportal website. So I'm logged in into two servers right now, one vanilla server with the world you've just seen and we want to get this vanilla server here or our vanilla world onto this Spigot server. So don't worry, you don't need two servers for this process. I've just ran two servers so it's easier to show it to you, but you just need one server. So to start, we need the FTP data here, the access data to log in into a program that I'm not go now gonna show you. So we will need this program here. It's called FileZilla and I'm gonna link you the download link in the video description. After you installed it and uh, started it, it should look like this. Um, these fields will be empty, so there we have to put in our FTP login data. To server, we need our AP, to port our port, to username here, and to Benutzername. This is German right now, but the places of the fields are the same. And password into password, and then here on connect. So, now we, I have a folder here, I created a folder called Vanilla Backup. Here we will save the data of our vanilla world. So this is very important. Just create an empty folder on your desktop or something. And then we have to mark all of this here and then right click and this means download. So I had just opened here the folder I've created on my hard drive. Um, yeah, these are just the files from our world. We just created a backup right now. Um, so make sure to not change anything in this folder here. So now we can just disconnect us here from our server. And now if you already have a Spigot server, then just instantly connect it. Otherwise we will now have to change the bot on the gportal website from vanilla to Spigot. So I'm on my vanilla server right now and here on mods on basic settings we have to switch to Spigot now. Just choose Spigot and the version and just press save here. So I have already ordered another server with uh, the Spigot here so everything goes a bit quicker. Now we just have to go into status, take our FTP access data and log, log in into FileZilla again. So now the FileZilla folder should look like this. So if you have already played on your Spigot server now, you have to create a backup of this world, world nether and world the end server uh, file. Just do it the same like we've did it with the vanilla server, just mark uh, here, mark all of them 
and just press download then. So if you don't want to change anything or save anything here, we can just go into these folders here and delete all of the files inside of them. So now all of the three folders has to be empty. So now we need again the vanilla backup file here and we have to open the folder world. Now we do the same on the Spigot server here. So now we have to select all of the files, press control on our keyboard and unselect these two files. And now we have to drag all of these files into the world folder on our Spigot server. So next we have to go into the next folder on FileZilla into world nether. Now we take the dim minus one folder and drag it into the world nether folder here. And after this is also finished, we're gonna go into the world the end folder in FileZilla and drag the dim one file into it. So the world is now transferred to the new server. In our vanilla backup server, we probably have now some custom settings here, for example, band players, whitelist and stuff. We can also transfer these settings to our new server. Now we have to choose this option here. This means override in German. And so, yeah, we have to just exchange the uh, settings from the Spigot server with the settings we had on our vanilla server. After this is finished as well, we have to go back to the gportal website and restart our Spigot server. So the server has restarted and we joined our world here and you see everything looks like we have left even the dropped items are here and yeah now if we go into the options here you see it's not vanilla anymore now we are officially on a Spigot server and if you followed everything in the video then you should be on the same spot. Now we can start installing plugins and how this works I'm going to show you in the next step now. So before we start to install our plugins, it's very, very important that you go into your gportal dashboard here, go on backups and create a manual backup. That's very important because always something can go wrong. And if something goes wrong, you will, pr in, in the worst case, you will lose your world. But if you have a backup, you can just restore it later if something goes wrong and then you have no problem and you have always a backup where you can, that you can restore here. So make sure to create a backup and it's, it's just like 30 seconds of work and then you're good to go with your plugins. So I'm on my Spigot server right now. And if we go now into the chat and type in slash plugin, then you see we have installed one plugin right now and we have the plugin essentials. And after that, we will like, after I've showed you how to install plugins, you will see that we have another plugin right here. So you see, I'm on my Spigot server right now. And now we need our FTP login data that we will find on status here. So here we have our FTP login data. So now you see I have a program called FileZilla here. I'm going to link you the download link in the video description since we're going to need this to get access to our server. After you downloaded it and started it, it should look like this. Now we need our login data here, the IP into server port into port, username into Benutzername, this is German for me right now, and password into password. So after we typed in all of our information here, we can start connecting our server here. So now you see we have access to our server. By the way, this will be a little bit bigger for you. I just put this away since we're not going to need this here. So I have this window here a little bit bigger. And here we also have our plugin folder where we have to put in our plugins that we soon going to choose. Um, and I'm going to show this to you. So this is a website where we can find tons of plugins for Spigot servers. 
Um, I'm gonna link the website in the video description. So if you want to install some Spigot plugins and I'm gonna show you how to install this protocol lib plugin right now, but don't worry, every plugin that we're gonna install is the same. So there's no difference, no matter what plugin you want to install. So now we just have to press on download now and then we need to choose a folder where we want to save this file. I have already downloaded it twice, so this is the third time, so don't wonder why I have already some data here. So just choose a folder and save it. So now we have our folder with the plugin right here, and then we just have to go on FileZilla and click on plugins here. So then we can just take our plugin file here and just drag it into the folder with plugins. So now we have to go back to gportal into our server settings and then we just have to restart our server here. So we are back on our server. Let's check slash plugins and then you see we have two plugins now, essentials and protocol lib. Um, yeah, so you can repeat this now as often with as many plugins as you want. So yeah, you just repeat the whole process, just drag the plugin into the folder in FileZilla and restart the server and the plugin is ready to play. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, make sure to ask them in the comments. I'm gonna try to answer all of the comments from you. And don't forget to use the link in the video description if you want to order a server on Gportal so you get a 10% discount and you're also gonna support me. You can also save this link so at any time you're ordering a server, you can just use it to get a discount. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.